This is Eyewitness News with Ernie Anastas and Roz Abrams plus Stormfield, Eli Zarrett, and the Eyewitness News team. Good evening, everyone. It was a massacre with employees scattered like flies. That's the way one eyewitness described today's shooting rampage by a disgruntled mailman inside an Oklahoma post office. When it was over, 15 people were dead, including the gunman. I, I thought it was a firecracker, and then there was another shot, and the guy that was working in the case in front of me, he turned around and he said, oh my God, get out of here. 44-year-old Patrick Sherrill, a Marine veteran, had been told yesterday by a supervisor that he'd lose his job unless his work performance improved. At 7 o'clock this morning, he went to the post office in Edmond with three guns and a mail sack full of ammo. Cheryl shot one co-worker in the parking lot, then went in the back door, bolting doors as he went, trapping 90 people inside. He killed 14 people and wounded five before shooting himself. There were bodies all over the post office. Two were found in the lunchroom. Four were found in one sorting room. Four were found in the next room. SWAT teams waiting 45 minutes before moving in, not knowing Cheryl had killed himself. As I stopped, he came around the corner with his gun raised, and I ducked down, and he shot another carrier. Now, what made me kick it, I don't know, but I kicked it out of his hand. Well, he picked it up and put another clip in it. Well, that's whenever I headed the other direction. For some, the wait to find out if their loved ones survived ended tragically. Tracy Sanchez, a sorter, had played dead at the hospital. Her mother found out that she was alive. <laughs> Today's mass murder was the third worst in U.S. history. In July of 1984, 21 people died when a gunman opened fire in a McDonald's restaurant near San Diego, California. In 1966, 16 people were killed in a shooting from the tower of the campus of the University of Texas.